Hello everybody, this is Al DePaulo and I'm the Partner Products Manager. Today I wanted to look at um, utilizing uh, 3D Engrave and some of the characteristics of it and also utilizing tool patterns uh, in order to rough out a 3D Engrave. So the first thing we have is a, a solid model here and um, it's got a curved surface and then you can see we have this Bobcat text that is down on the bottom. So the first thing we want to do is project that text uh, onto that surface. So I'll just create a new layer. We'll go to other project curves to surfaces. We'll grab all this stuff. Okay, right now, and that's a good point. If you're going to project it, you want to have it exploded. So let's go ahead and explode our geometry. Let me show you that again. Utilities is where all your editing is done. We're going to go to explode, explode as arcs. We'll select our text and that will break it down to arc segments. All right, so now we're dealing with uh, lines, points, lines, and arcs, or lines and arcs in this example. So we're gonna go to other project curves to surfaces. We'll window in our text here. Uh, let me just create another layer here. And uh, from there, we'll go ahead and pick our surface and now you can see we have our projected geometry on our surface. Go ahead and move this back to this other layer here. Get rid of that. Okay. So now we have our projected geometry on our surface, which is kind of cool. So from here, we're going to go ahead and set up our stock geometry. Um, we'll go ahead and set our origin on center. Uh, I will go ahead and turn down our stock shading. Uh, we want to do a three axis engraving routine. We'll go ahead and select our geometry. So I'll just window this in. And then from here, we can pick our tool. So I want to use a V tool. So I'm going to import. Uh, Sorry, I'm going to add that from our tool library. Okay, so we have a tool in here. That's fine. I'll click OK. And then our parameters is how deep uh, we're going to go down. So I'm going to set this to 0.015 and then I'll compute. And you'll see that it generates that tool path down going 0.015 problem is, is sometimes you want to take more than one step you want to step it down and until uh, the version 25 was released we really didn't have an option for you on that um, now what you can do is create a toolpath pattern we're gonna do a translate uh, we're gonna go ahead and say three copies at minus 0.01 and then we'll go ahead and click OK. And then what that will do is now rough down your toolpath. So it's going to take multiple steps to get down to the bottom. And uh, that's a very powerful feature that we recently added. And um, very useful. You can use tool patterns in a variety of different ways. But in this particular example, we did projecting geometry onto a surface. We did 3D engraving. And then we used our tool patterns to be able to uh, rough out our, uh, our 3D engraved toolpath or our manual toolpath that we're posting in 3D. So there's a, a useful tip for everybody and uh, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Uh, any questions that you have, you can always reply in the thread or on the Bobcat After Dark or the Bobcat After Dark Facebook page um, or you could email me. So look forward to talking to you guys. Have a good day.